Hey everyone, this is Hedge, and today I'm going to show you how to add custom faces to your Konagachi. I'll show you how to do a Pikachu, but um, this applies for anything, so let's get started. First thing you're going to need are the drivers uh, to actually communicate with Konagachi. I'll have a link in the description to my website post with all the links for the drivers, the software I'm using, and the GitHub repository with the faces. So you'll go ahead and extract that and then open up Device Manager. And then go to Ports and then find this COM port. Yours might be a different number, but we'll update the driver. Browse for it. Let me pick. And have disk. And you'll go ahead and browse to the folder that you extracted those drivers to. And then you'll click the INF and open. Okay. You'll see it found the RMDIS gadget. And hit close. Now you may want to unplug and plug back in the Ponagachi. It should then show up as a network device. So we'll go to our control panel, then the network and sharing center. There should be a new network connection, and we're going to have to set an IP for that so we can actually talk to the Ponogachi. And then choose the IPv4 properties, and then IP address will be 10.0.0.1, 255, 255, 255 for the subnet mask. And the gateway, I just put the Ponogachi's IP. And then I put the DNS in here, but you don't have to do that, it's just habit for me. After that, let's go ahead and launch uh, our SSH client. For this video, I'm going to use Termius just because I like it. Uh, I like that it has FTP built into it, which allows us to transfer the, um, the actual files onto the device. Um, and let me show you what settings I have here. So for the host, I have 10.0.0.2, and the username is Pi. And then the default password for Raspberry Pi is Raspberry. I kind of hate this theme too, so I'll go ahead and switch it to another dark mode. And then you'll want to go to this GitHub repository. Again, link will be in the, uh, the website. And then just pick the face you want. This will work. This video I'm using the Pikachu one, but you're free to use the Vault Boy one or anything that you like. It's this tutorial is generic enough where you can put any of these files in this folder we're about to make on the device, and it should just work. So I downloaded the code as a zip, and then you'll want to um, take the face folder out that you want. Let's go and extract it. Be in the custom themes folder and then find the one you want for me it's Ponochu and then the faces folder you'll see all the PNGs in here just go ahead and take it I'm gonna throw it on the desktop and then we'll go back to the um, Termius program Then we're going to need to actually make the folder that's going to have all the face files in it. So I just changed the root directory and then I'm making a new folder called faces. And then I like to change the permissions to 777 for that folder. It allows us to FTP the, um, the files in. You probably shouldn't do 777, but let's be honest, who's actually going to connect to this device? Just makes it easier for us. So once you do all that, you'll uh, SFTP into the device, and then we'll browse on our computer side for the files. For me, it was on my desktop. 
and the faces pulling out you folder. There they are. And then on the other side, you'll select host and the Ponagashi one that you made. And then let's change the directory to the one we just made, which is faces. And then just take all these, I hold shift and then click and drag them all in. That's it. Pretty easy. And then we're almost done, we just need to edit the config to actually look at these base files now. So to do that, you'll uh, have to change the um, config, so sudo nano etsy ponogachi config.toml. And you're going to scroll down until you find all the little ASCII art faces, little emojis, little emoticons. And you need to remove this block. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it real quick. And while we're waiting, if you, uh, if you find this helpful, it'd be awesome if you liked the video. Um, I've just started making these because I thought it would be fun. And uh, it's kind of educational and, I don't know, just having a good time with it. So if you liked it, give it a like, maybe subscribe. Then you're going to copy and paste um, this into your config file. This will replace what we just deleted. It's basically just pointing, instead of to an emoticon, to a file. Those pictures that we um, pasted in there. And again, this will be on the website. You just copy and paste it right from there. And then I just right click. That pastes it in for you. And then um, control X to save and then Y for yes, and then enter to overwrite the existing file name. That's it. Uh, I'm actually gonna go back in and then change the name to Ponachu. Feels like it's pretty fitting. I think that's the name of the, the folder too, for all these images. And then pseudo reboot now, and that's it. Should be done. Now we can go ahead and uh, put the Ponagashi reboot, and it should come up with the faces that we put on. And that's it, it looks pretty cool. Um, there's actually scripts that you can install that make it look a little bit better. If that interests you, drop me a comment to show me that you're interested and I'll make a video on how to theme this even further. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.